So in this session, we will do a program where we will be swapping the value of two variables. That means if two variables are there a and b, this program will interchange the value of a and b. So this can be done in three different ways. We will see all the possible ways in which we can do it. So let's start. I've created an empty file. I'll save this file as swap1.c. There is a file already there. I'll replace the file. I'll give a comment here. Program to interchange the value of two variables. So let us write the header file followed by int main. So this is our main function followed by the body of the main function and a return zero. Now let us declare two variables where we will have to take two values from the user. So int x comma y for two variables. Then a third variable temp that will help us to interchange the value of x and y. So let us print a message on the screen asking for the two numbers and then scan f to take the numbers in x and y. Percent d is the format of integer. So two percent d is followed by comma address of x and address of y so now we have got two values in x and y so what we can do we can print the value of x and y before swapping or interchanging so you can write printf before swapping the values i'll put a backslash n for new line followed by another printf x equals to percent d and y equals to percent d this two percent is should be replaced by the value of x and y so x comma y let us check whether we are able to take x and y's value and display it so save the file or run so it is asking for two numbers so will be four and five before swapping the value x equals to four and y equals to five so we have correctly written the code to take numbers now We'll give a comment here. So this is the swapping part. Here we'll use the temp variable which is not storing anything to store the value of x. Now the value of x is there in two variables x as well as temp. So we can replace x. So we'll write x equals to y. So y's value will come to x. Now y's value is there in two variables x and y. Now y could be changed. Y equals to temp which is storing value of x which was taken from user so in this way we can interchange the value of two variables now let us write a comment that will display the swap values so what we can do we can just copy these two lines create a copy and paste it here so this before will turn into after we have to convert it to after okay after swapping the values x is what the value of x and y is the value of y so let us check whether the values are swapped or not. So let us save again, run the program, and then we can write 45 and 67, two values. See, this after is coming in the same line, okay, because there is no backslash n. So after printing also, we have to put a backslash n. Then we'll have a line break. So let us save and run again. 45 and 67. Now see, before swapping, the values are 45 and 67. And after swapping, x becomes 67 and y becomes 45. We have successfully swapped the value of two variables. Now let us make it a little bit complex. Let us save this file again. Alt F A for save as. We'll name it as swap2.g. So program to interchange the value of two variables without using third variable. So see without using a third variable we are going to interchange the value of two variables so you have to remove temp from this example now what we can do we can use the concept of addition and subtraction to solve it so instead of this x equals to x plus y so let us add x and y and store it in x itself now x is the summation of x and y both now if i write y equals to x which is the sum of x and y minus y then y will be deducted from x plus y so it will be x actually so now y gets the value of x and then we'll write again x equals to x minus y 
So x is x plus y now and y gets the value of x in the second line. Now if I deduct y, I will be getting the value of y in x because now y is storing the value of x. So if I deduct, I am deducting x. So x plus y minus x. It is happening like that. So x gets the value of y. So if I display it now, I will be able to swap the value of two variables. Okay, let us take 4 and 5. See, it is interchanged. Now, as it is done using the concept of plus and minus, it can be also done using the concept of into and divide. So, let us again save this file. So, instead of plus, we will provide into as the symbol and instead of minus, we will provide divide. So, let us take the values like 456 and 789. See, this code is also able to solve the values of two variables. So, hope you have understood. In the next video, we will come up with some other program, interesting program like this. Till then, it's bye-bye from Devs Coding Hub.